How to make rain in Roblox Studio. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in a super quick and easy tutorial. So if this video helped you out, please let me know in the comments and also leave a like so I actually know this video helped you out. And yeah, let's get started right away. So what I'm going to do is simply go to Google first. You guys have to click on the link in the description or the pinned comment down below. And this will bring you over to the creator hub with a rain plugin. Now we need to get this plugin because we need to add this to our game in order for the actual rain system to work. So here we can see get plugin. Now I'm going to click on there and it says this item is available in your inventory, which is, which is great. And we can see that it has 2,000 plus votes with a 91% rating, which is really good. So now we're going to go back to Roblox Studio and I'm going to simply select, uh, for example, the castle. Now, uh, you guys actually have to click on your game, of course, but I went ahead and chose the castle uh, because, I don't know, this just seems good to me. Now, here we have the castle. And what we need to do is, first of all, make sure that the toolbox here is enabled. So if you go to view, here we can see toolbox. We need to um, enable that. And you can also, if you would like to, enable the asset manager. Uh, but this um, isn't needed. But what you want to do is go to inventory over here. Because this is pretty much all of the um, models and everything we have in our inventory. Now, if you cannot see it. You can also go to my plugins and here we can see the rain plugin. So I'm going to click on this once and I'm going to here click on install. Now this will install this uh, to my game. It's pretty easy. It already installed it straight away in one click. Now here at the top, we now have a plugin section, as you can see. And here we can see the rain editor. Now if you click on this, this will open up the rain editor. Now, let me just uh, go a little bit like this and then and then just drag this a little bit more over here. So we can see the castle pretty well. Now, here we can see the rain editor script pretty much. And what we first of all want to do is obviously enable this. Once you've clicked on that once, it says, do you want to allow plugin rain plugin to manage scripts in your game? Now you need to allow this in order for it to work. So once you've allowed this, still nothing really happens. And that is because we have not yet enabled the preview. So if you click on preview active, we can now see that it starts raining like really hard, as you can see. Now, if you do the uh, preview active, this will um, you know, show you the settings uh, live. So if you, for example, go to the intensity, and you drag this down, we can see it updating live. So now it's raining, not that hard anymore. And now it's actually raining, not a lot. If you put it all the way at the top, you can see how hard it will rain. So we have a lot of these options. So we can even change the color. Now, if you click on the color, nothing really happens, but that's because we need to type it in manually. Um, so what you can do is, is search for color picker on Google and here you can ch uh, choose whichever color you would like to, for example. So what we can do is, uh, do something like this. And what you will see here is the RGB. Now this is the color. So I'm going to simply copy this, go to Roblox studio and then go over here, do this icon, paste it in here, do the other icon. And then there we go. We can now see that the color has been changed. Here we also have light emission. So that is how much uh, lighting will bounce off of the uh, rain driplets. So if I do it all the way uh, less, it will be less bright. Uh, light influence, we can change that as well. So you have a lot of different um, options, even the speed and then uh, the volume. So how much rain there is. Let me just pull up the speed again or uh, yeah, how less it is. So here we also have collisions and here we can even get the angle. So let me just try something. So what I found out for the direction is that you need to have this negative one in there. You need to have that. 
uh, or else it will just reset to this value. So what you can type in, for example, is do uh, two comma negative one comma zero. Now, if I hit enter, we can see how much the angle has changed. This is, for example, in a pretty heavy storm, for example. But um, yeah, this looks actually really good in my opinion. So I'm going to just test this out real quick and see how it would look like in game. And yeah, since I'm behind the building, you might not see it that well since it's in an angle. But um, yeah, the rain looks pretty cool. Let me just actually just get rid of that angle and just um, reset it to the default one like this and now i'm going to hit play and there we go that's uh how it will look like pretty cool to me that's pretty much it that's how to make rain in roblox studio